Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Gigi's back for some more. I hope everyone's had themselves a wonderful week. I enjoyed myself uh, quite thoroughly. Brother and I started playing that Borderlands 3, and we figured, uh, oh, you know, only be like another four to six hours yesterday before we finish it. No, it was a 12 hour day yesterday, so I didn't get to bed until like, ooh, 3 a.m., so. I slept in this morning, so sorry I didn't get the uh, notification out any earlier, but I rolled out of bed and went, oh no, and ripped over and uh, made up a screenshot and got a stream going, so yeah, I'm still rubbing the sleep out of my eyes, I haven't had my shower yet, but yeah, I know, I know, it's 3.30 somewhere in the afternoon, somewhere, <laughs> it's only 1.30 my time though, that's my story, <laughs> but we got about ourselves about a minute and 56 seconds left get our drinks get our snacks get our butts in the comfiest position so we can kick back relax unwind and enjoy today's show as always big shout outs to those awesome folks who come in here as the early birdies we had karsten bud lean spider at derek welcome welcome to the channel thank you all for smashing that like button it does help me out so very much and to all those making the uh, comments on the videos thank you thank you thank you i hope uh uh, I hope I'm responding to you within a, a reasonable amount of time, so. Oh. Oh, good week, good week. So my brother went on Monday, went out and took me and got me my uh, birthday gift. So I got that from him. That was awesome. Thank you, little bro. Uh, so I got my nighttime meds now. So I feel a little, uh, little groggy when I wake up in the mornings now. But it is so nice to be able to fall asleep within 20 minutes to 30 minutes instead of... 9 30 p.m over there oh my goodness yeah well you know what can i say that's denmark for you right yeah <laughs> on the other side of the pond oh i'm awake i'm awake i rolled out of bed less than uh 45 minutes ago yeah <laughs> and i'm awake <laughs> wyoming is 1 30 oh you and i are on the same uh, time frame so yeah yeah it's 1 30 my time oh I even was able to get myself a glass of hot chocolate nucleated, so. Ooh. I got the hot chocolate. I got the imposter Dr. Pepper sweet tea today. Enjoying that. Looking forward to playing more of uh, Mon Bazoo. I was going to do Landlord Super today, but I just, I didn't have any uh, screenshots. I haven't even started the game up yet, so. Kind of hard to do a, a thumbnail when you ain't got that stuff. Let's do it. Let's get into this game, shall we? Do, 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 do. So something I didn't go over was the change logs. So the change logs are you can now paint your home and garage. Yay! That's awesome. Change the dealer building color. That was way too white. So I guess he changed it. I don't know if we'll be able to paint it, but I, why would I want to paint this place? Anyway, uh, bugs. You can rebind the EG to something else. That now works. Thank goodness, because I use that all the time. Uh, lights problem in the bunker right after it's completed bugs were drying fast i'm guessing that was what that issue that we had where uh we planted all the plants and it's like you have no lights it's like but i turned the switch on and nothing was happening uh cottage compost machine bug when trying to pack a fertilizer uh okay fertilizer reservoir in bunker weird glow went empty and was visually full just after the bunker was built main menu music can't be muted that's been fixed small section of ground outside near the player's house has no collider's been fixed the compost machine in the bunker lid clipped through a pipe and when it was open, uh, chance been fixed, change the message, these have all been fixed, change the message to unlock the dealer because it was confusing, spawn problem of huge pack when selling big packs of the dealers, not supposed to be able to get friendship from dealers, now there's a special event for Quebec slash Canada Day, so that'll be on July the 1st, cannot wait for that, figure out what that one is. And then what else here? Uh, da, 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 da. Kind of important stuff. Home bunker can now be bought at the weed dealer. We got that with farming and automation faster growing. Got that figured. The mainland, very small portion accessible for now. Been there. New system for the plants and easy to understand. Got that figured out. Weed dealer location. Nurses! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having yourself a good day. Uh, they now have the way bigger uh, harvest basket. Uh, the huge packs of the cannabis. Voices for Francis and Eric. Uh, cool, I guess. Notes say you can now fertilize growing trees. It's also possible to cut them. Movable planter for sale. A save house door status. Open and close at the load of the safe. That's cool. Special events, St. Thomas Baptiste Day and Canada Day. So, I'm not sure what special events were. I never saw them for St. Jean and uh, Baptiste Day. We'll find out on Canada Day. Uh, I'll stream again, I believe. I believe I'm streaming on Friday. And bugs, small items on the bed can't be retrieved. Gas can or other object disappear over deep water, so don't lose your gas cans over deep water. 
Hey, you still reading, hum? Uh, yeah, have a great day. In the summer, the updates are smaller. Summers are short over here, and I enjoy them. I can't blame you. You're Canadian. All right, so... Uh, 1.54 a.m. 1.45 a.m. last... Today. Last night, technically. Whatever you want to call it. That's when I last played. Nah. That was me running downstairs real quick, just grabbing a screenshot. Brother and I were, we took a break before we were working on the, uh, the last bottle, the bottle, last battle, boss lady. It was pretty good. It was a good time. We enjoyed ourselves loading. Be sure to have free healthcare before trying a diet of poutine and maple syrup. Ain't that the truth? Loading settings, save info, player data, vehicles, objects, garden trees. Okay. What about game logic? You going to load that too, please, please. Yay. Here we are. 630 in the morning. Whoa, okay, that took a second there for that to kick in. All right, so it is a Sunday. We got nothing going on today other than ta da 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 da. So remember how I was saying that you know I'd probably set up the uh, the place like this so you can walk through and around, but then I found out this. <laughs> we can run. We can run. Now, as you can see, they're not too bad. They're they're mostly lined up. Uh. They do have a bit of a collision issue with them. So all I've been doing is this. I've been coming over here. Grabbing this. Just bringing it up nice and tight and close and setting it down. Now, there are 22 across. And if I did my math correctly, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, but I, I most likely did. Uh, so 48 wide by 22 across like that's dang near a thousand if not more than a thousand so i tried doing a 49th and a 50th over here they never got watered nothing happened with these two plants so i just left them as was they never got watered they never got groated so i figured we put them down over here right along the line of two boats here and then we'll probably have two open and then uh, go to here like type of thing have it start here so we'll have a little bit of a section missing just so we can pack this stuff up. As you can see, we have a, uh, a mount here. We can get done. So I've been busy. I've been busy. When uh, brother and I aren't playing the, uh, weren't playing the Borderlands 3, we were playing, I was playing this. So let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hold on. We got 12. Okay. We got 12 that we can sell. But for now, I want to do this. Uh, where are the seeds? Seeds are over here. I want to take you, and I want to see exactly how much faster these grow indoors than they do outdoors. Now, here's the kicker about these outdoor plants. They get pests now. We got to use this pesticide and stuff. You got to keep keep on top of it. It uh, definitely drives you crazy. So I'm going to do one row of potatoes on my left. So that's why I'm starting on this row with the uh, cannabis seeds. Now I'm not going to do uh, more than just these two rows. There's no need to do an entire giant field. It there's just takes so long because of the pesticides and stuff. Not too worth it for me. So we'll drop you down. We'll grab you. These are all watered. Why are these all watered already? Don't know. Taters, please. And the taters are going to be for the compostion. Com compostion? The, yeah, compost bin. Compostion? Oui. Making up my own words now there, bud. You can't word today. I can't speak. But looking forward to uh, seeing seeing this place, you know, running at full tilt. Uh, it, just, it says it's watered yet. I don't remember getting any rain lately in order to water, have them auto watered. So I'm not sure about that. No seeds planted. Oop. We missed one. Cannot have that. Well, look for the dry pocket. There it is. No wonder I missed it. I couldn't even see it on the return. Anyway. Oop. 
So that's that planted. Let's go plant downstairs. These are growing, right? Yep. And we shall see how much faster these ones go. I really wish we could hold down the button for this. Right now, currently, I am having to clicker fest. That's not good for anybody's mouse buttons to have to do this. So I figure I have about 300 plants down here right now at this time. So I'm not... Uh, I'm thinking that we're doing not too bad. Uh, so if you can only get 50 a week, that means I've done about six, seven weeks worth of collecting. <laughs> I've gotten a lot, and yet we're only about a third of the way through. Actually, I don't even think we are at 30% yet, are we? No, we're not even at 30% yet. So, yeah, it's going to take a while. If you want to go this route, you want to completely fill your bunker. Now, completely filled, I'm pretty sure you're going to have, like, just like right around a thousand... Like just just over like a thousand six to like a thousand and eighteen something like that if you uh, if you max this place out as much as you can somewhere around there. So that's going to be a lot of trips. That's going to be a minimum of twenty weeks of trips every day because you can collect fifty a week. You can collect five days a week and ten per per day. So you can collect fifty a week. Going all the way up to a thousand. But once it's done, you don't have to go back and do it again. Now, all these spaces and everything else, I'll get rid of those as I add more rows. So every time I lay down a full row, I come back and I straighten all these um, outdoor buckets up with a uh, up to the third row. So I stand here, I pick it up, slide it forward, drop it down. Then I come grab this one, pick it up, move, slide it forward, drop it down, pick this one, drive. Just basically, that's what I keep doing. If I have to move it left or right, I do that too. Okay. Oh, and I have quite a few seeds left. 2,074. We're good. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab one of these fertilizer packs. And what we'll do is... We'll fertilize... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. And then I'll come outside and I'll fertilize ten of these. All right, so you get 20 fertilizer per bag. So we have these, this row here is fertilized and this one's not. So we're going to take a look at the difference in growing speeds between them all. I guess I should have done some taters too, but yeah, whatever. Okay, now that being said and done, these are all planted. Everything's all watered. Let's go take a load to the dealer and find out exactly how much we get paid per pack. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oop, that's going to cause problems. Is that silly e-brake? I love how uh, Santa Goat covers his tracks and says, Gravity's kind of funny in Canada. Mm-hmm. Then there's another one that says that there's gravity anomalies in Canada. So he's trying to cover his tracks for all the bouncing around and stuff. World lock. Thing. It don't work for me. So we spent quite a bit of money so far. At one point, weren't we over like $600,000 before all this stuff happened? But needless to say, it's all going to a good cause. Ooh. 
Now we'll probably end up having to grab something to eat or drink before we leave. Uh, you know what? Over you, over here. You need to straighten up. I'm hoping we can fit all 12 in here. Oh, I love it. That's just when I went and took my picture. This was happening. So you guys couldn't see all this stuff behind. All right, let's grab you. We need to go see a man about some monies. Okay, yeah, well, I think I'm going to have to figure out a better way to pack these so they're not uh, flying around when we're going down the highways. Hmm. pain in the butt to do, but I just want to make sure that we can get them all there safe and sound. No sense in getting completely messed up with it. Oh, hey, we can get three across? Oh, well, look at that. Okay. All right, hold on. Well, I think we're good. We get four, four rows of three across like that. We are happening. Yes, I know, Bo Boutin. I know you're, you're calling to me. You're calling to my inner Canadian that Putin is just all over it. Just like, hey, you know you want it. You know you need it. I'm going to remind you. I like a good dog, you know. I want my treats now, or whatever. Whatever it is that they're demanding. Okay. Huh. All right. Guess there's no secret recipe on putting them all in here. Wow. Wow. This does take a while. This takes a little bit longer than the uh, maple syrup. <laughs> but it's not just maple syrup all day long. Maple syrup while I sing my song. Scooby snacks? Yeah, 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 you could say that. <laughs> yeah, good old Shaggy and, uh, and, uh, what was the, what was the pup's name? Not Scooby, the other one. Is it Scrappy? I want to say Scrappy for some reason. But yeah, they knew what was going on. Do, 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 do. One more after this. Just one more. It's like being next in line, you know? It's like, you know, almost the greatest feeling besides, you know, winning the lottery, I guess. Scrappy was the pup cake. You think I'd remember? I've watched a couple of Scoobies with Kiddo, but I don't remember Scrappy ever being in one of them. I haven't seen Scrappy just geez, since I was young, a young lad. All right, okay, that works. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go take care of our our addictions in life. I this maple syrup and poutine, please. <laughs> Hot. Hot. I didn't need those taste buds anyway. Huh. Hot, hot. Nice. Um, I watched the, the, 
the, the, the, what I watched with kiddo was the um, Scooby one and two I think it was was the movies one had I can't remember one was a ghost story pirates and stuff it was messed up I didn't really pay too much attention to it that's the problem with me I really got to be into a movie otherwise my brain just wanders right off and I could be staring at the screen but I ain't watching nothing that's happening 3%, 3%. See, and these are fertilized. So, don't know. Alright. Figured we'd clean up the kitchen a little bit. Start eating down some of these piles of, uh... Uh, poutine that we got going. I mean, come on, we got two full baskets here. 100% big basket over here. Plus, we got some more taters coming. I think we're doing alright for a while. Uh, okay, so we got that taken care of. Let's go see how much we make from these uh, big packs each. Oh, nice. Rowan Atkins. I like Mr. Bean. That was a good show when I was younger. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm hooped. I'm hooped for Jackknife in this trailer. I was not paying attention. I was looking at chat. Oops, my bad. We'll make that. We'll clear that tree. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna have lots of coughs as my body readjusts to uh, taking the CBDs at night. I haven't seen this one before. It's a uh, 12.3 CBD and it's a 3.6 THC. Man versus B. Interesting. In true fashion, Mr. Bean's going to lose to the B, right? I mean, at some point in time, he's going to get a turkey stuck to his head or, uh, you know, get finger or glue his finger up his nose or something weird. What is today? The 29th? All okay. right. So yeah, Friday's got to be the, uh, the holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Maybe we have to come here at night. Maybe it's on fire at night. Maybe that's when we're supposed to light it. It'd be nice if he even gave us a clue. Actually, they're closed on Sundays. I've been driving to this place so bloody often that it's just absolute habit now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so my brother and I we were doing uh, four-hour play sessions of Borderlands 3 since uh, Friday last week. And so we did uh, four hours on the Friday, but we do it like we, we play for two hours. Then we take a half hour, 45 minute break, snacks, smokes, whatever, right? That type of stuff. And then... I will come back and we'll play for another two hours and then we put it away for the day. And so yeah, we did that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not Monday night, uh, but not Tuesday night, but Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. And yeah, so yeah, we played a lot and we just, we just finished it last night. I don't think there's anything more other than uh, like some arenas, some delivering some burgers and... Uh, the, all the DLCs. But the DLCs didn't come with the free Epic game, so. <laughs> I was fine with that. But you'll notice that the uh, DLCs won't go on sale now for at least six and a half months after a game comes free on, uh, on Epic. They do that on purpose. That's where they make their money back is on the DLCs from you. It just sucks that you can't get the, uh, Humble Bumbles to work with Epic. They only got linked up to Steam because of the code base thing that they got going on. But like my brother said, yeah. It was good. It was good. It wasn't as much fun as it was the first time when we played Borderlands 1, the very, like, when it first came out and we first played it. We thought we had just had so much fun with it. All the rest of them been 
a disappointment, but like my brother says, you know, he's like, it's more likely just because the fact that we were like, oh my God, this is absolutely so amazing. And we had so much fun with the first time around that the second one was like, ah, oh, there's no real innovation. Kind of like how Farming Simulator is. Yeah. From 2015, not that big of a difference. Uh, 15 to 17, sorry. 17 to 19, still not that big of a difference. But 19 to 22, not bad. I, I will say this, it's not bad. Um, am I going to play it? No. I burned out on the farming sims. We're going to have to wait for a while for them to, uh, to be able to be back in my repertoire. Alright. Now, I only want to sell one first just to see how much monies it makes us. Then the rest of them we can just drive up there and do it. Uh, an epic free and there's no expansion for it all not even to buy yeah you know eggs okay that's an interesting one how are they going to make their money back off the free game don't make no sense to me all right so here we go big pack huge pack ten thousand dollars so we're about to make a hundred and twenty thousand dollars Woo! Let's see if this is going to work. No. Alright, fine. Uh, I just really don't feel like backing the trailer up and down the ramp. Alright. No. Don't tell me because the trailer's caught somewhere. There we go. That's how you do it. Bring around the rosy enough and it'll pop off. All right. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to try to bother backing this up. Look at all this coffee. Hey, you think I was an addict or something. But this is truly a Canadian's car right here. You got Timmy's all over the place in there. Not so much anymore. Timmy's finally figured out that, hey, they have a good product. So now they charge way more than they need to. It's ridiculous how much it is now. It's like, wow, I'd rather get a Slurpee than an ice cap. Not saying something. There we go. 10K per. Love it. 120,000 here. I wonder if there's a limit to how many you can sell it per day. If it's like four, I'm going to cry. Uh, it might be eight. But man, if you're dropping off eight per day, $80,000. Jeez. You're doing pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm just really surprised. Oh, but that's 18? Now there was a ton of DLCs for 18. I was thinking the the VR version. I don't know if they have any uh, DLCs for the VR version. Yeah, me thinks you can only sell four per day. Or eight per day, sorry. Yep. Eight per day. Well, that's no good. They limit us. But if this auto sells tomorrow, I'm a happy camper. Nothing wrong with that going on. I'm wasting fuel. Jeez, polluting the environment. Oh, I am horrible. Yeah, absolutely horrible. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. 
Oh yeah, and as always, folks, uh, if you're ever curious as to what games are free on Epic, I try to keep the list updated on the Avalon. Just saying, join now if you haven't joined already. A great place with a great group of like-minded people. We're all vidiots in the end. We're all enjoying ourselves playing the video games. Now, you're open seven days a week, right? Yeah. Till eight o'clock. Jeez, guys, turn on the funny HVAC. Hey. Can I hardly breathe in this place. And I approve. I figure we get three more of these because we're going to have potato issues. So many titers. Hey, let go. Let go of me. Okay. Home sweet home we go. We can't buy any of those outdoor pots because that store is closed on weekends, dang it. How am I ever supposed to build my hemp pyre with the store closing on weekends? Where is this consumer capitalism that we all so, uh, love dear, dearly? Yes, I do know I have my 4x4s on right now. I will turn them off when we get on Tuesday Highway. Ten thousand per, not bad. I will take it and smile. I think the highest we ever got to was like six hundred and fifty thousand, so even with everything we purchased and all that, with the bunker, the composting bin, the uh packaging machine, we were still able to uh Uh, make a profit. There we go. Back to two-wheel drive. It's nice. And then tomorrow, we get to go pick up another set of pots. Lovely. Uh, buying pots all the time. And we'll also check on our greenhouse when we get there. Whoa, no, 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 we're done. We're hooped. Oh, yeah. We got screwed. All right. You got to go in there. You got to go in there. Yeah, I knew you were going to fall down. You go there. One basket, which will try to fly out over time. Okay. Phew. Bang, bang, bang. Now, when we come back, one bus basket will probably be pushed out. Just saying. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, it didn't get pushed out. Yet. All right. Cool. Could have been way worse. I've had way worse. I've lost everything in this truck several times now, just going back and forth buying pots. <laughs> Those outdoor pots have been a pain in the butt. And the reason being my biggest issue is I keep coming across the bus at the wrong time. <laughs> so I get up in the morning after I do my sleepy sleep, right? So you do your sleepy sleep. You get up in the morning, you drive all the way down to the store to do the pots, like to buy them. They open up at 8 o'clock, you load up, 
you turn around, you start coming back home, and I'll be danged if I don't meet that bus on that last T intersection just before the house. And four times now, it has bunted me. Um, so I've lost uh, everything, pots, everything in the truck. <laughs> four times on that one and I've at least six different times I've gone too fast where like back there I've lost the baskets well yeah I've lost all the pots let's see I've lost some pots over here on the right now luckily luckily I've been able to recover I think every single object that I've ever uh, tossed out of the truck I haven't lost anything yet when I do my math I have the perfect amount of uh, baskets or, um, not baskets, sorry, pots for what I've gone through. Like, see right there, like this guy. But the bus is so big that it... It goes out much farther. And so it bunts you. Boink! And you're gone. Here we go. We got this. We got this nice, smooth, even parking job. Alright. Grab you. Perfect. Let's just kind of clean up the truck a little bit. We don't need these all underneath the gas pedal. Alright. That is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how many baskets we're going to be needing for the potatoes. I'm thinking at least two, possibly three. That's my guesstimates anyway. So this is at 12%, this is at 10%, 11%. So the fertilized doesn't seem to be doing that much of a difference so far with the potted plants. But it has only been just one afternoon, got to give it some time. Let's see, 25% ready to be packed out. Okay, we're good. Ugh. And dry. Oh. Dang it. Missed one. Perfect, so these are at 6%, so with fertilizer, it's almost twice the speed. Uh, we didn't, you're not even going to bother looking at the taters. We didn't do any, uh, that's what I'll do next time. I'll fertilize 10, or 20 of them, and we'll see. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Oh, it's here. You know what? Let's just do this. Get you outside of the way for the moment. You got how many in there? Okay, we'll have 29.50 when this is done. Alright, I say we're doing good. Yay, we finally got rid of all our itty bitty baskets. So exciting. Yes, I know you're tired, bud. You'll get to sleep in a bit. I just need this quick little extra time just to get rid of all this. Uh, 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 uh. 
It's like a pinball machine just bouncing off those doors coming in and out. It drives me crazy. So we got a few that we can burn. Just saying. Lots of burning material out there. Da -da -da. We'll do a quick save. Oh, it's good to get your save on. Don't you go passing out on me before the end of the night there, bud. You're playing on the computer. It shouldn't cause you to be tired. Look at that. We're in bed at 10. Let's see what time we get up at. <laughs> uh, 6.30. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for anything better. All right, come on down here. 32, 39. So, so far, not the biggest. Not the biggest in gains. So, this was my life. Every Monday through Friday. This is what I've been doing. I jump into my 200 horsepower pickup truck and I make my way to the decoration store and we pick up 10 pots place them and then go back and do it again the next day Not very, uh, 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 entertainings, but still. Woo Getting work done, I guess you could say. I just wish we could have, like, a hundred delivered to our house at a time. That would be so nice. Special order, one hundred. I mean, I don't care if there's a $250 delivery charge on top of each hundred. Just send me them. So they're, or they're what? I think they're like 50 bucks each? Or are they 20 bucks each? I, I will find out. And this is where... I get to vape for a while. We got half an hour that we gotta wait. Can't buy nothing. Actually, I'm gonna stand up and stretch. That's what I'm gonna do. Everybody, get up, get up, get up. Stretch. We've been going at it for like 45 minutes. Ugh. We don't get no DVTs around here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no deep vein thrombosis, nope. I cannot get my back to crack, I just tried. It's not gonna happen, dang it. Oh. 10 more minutes in game, or 12 more minutes in game, 13 minutes in game, 12 minutes in game, whatever. Store don't open until 8.01. They lie. They say 8 o'clock, but it's a lie. It's a lie, I tell ya. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, playing that Landlord Super. Oh, um, House Builder just came out with two new houses as well. Jeez, I forgot all about that till this moment. Ah. All right, so maybe we'll do some House Builder tomorrow. Check out the new levels. I forgot all about that. Just My brain just went ding, ding, ding. Hello, you had a message from eBuzz the other day. You should know better. My brain just can't handle it at all. Oh, uh, oops. I'm not on live chat. I'm on top chat. Sorry if I missed anybody's messages. My bad. My bad. 
you don't stream for like two days extra and you just lose all your skills. And I didn't have many to start off with. Oof. And I can tell you already, I am not as efficient as I've been all, all week. <laughs> oh, dang it. Opt in for the chance to get a Game and Gargle one month gift subscription and gift gift membership and allow access to because what the hell is this? That's new. I've never seen that before. I have something on my chat that says allow gifts. I okay. I don't know what that's all about. That's a new one for me. Can I get something? Did YouTube hand out a new feature or something? They did. They didn't. Uh, they didn't memo me on it. Cool. So it's. I bet you it's kind of like how Twitch does their thing, right? Like for gift memberships or whatever. Um. Oh, I bet you. Okay. From the way it's worded. Okay. You have to opt in if you want. If you are to be eligible for somebody to, if they were to do a gift subscription. Okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I understand Googlies. Been working with them for eight years. So yeah, you folks have to click on the allow. And then that basically says, yeah, hey, somebody wants to gift me one. I'll take it, you know. I think that's how that works. That way you're not gifting to bots on those random gifts, right? So that's my, uh, my, uh, my hypothesis. It's not a theory. It's only my hypothesis. Now, I've slowed down on purpose because normally I come across that bus right at 8.56 or 59. I can't remember, but yeah, he's a mean one, that Mr. Bus. So I'm not going to be hauling arse through here like I normally do. Which I really shouldn't anyway because I lose stuff all the time. Uh-oh. There's gonna be the bus. Oh, no. No bus. Oh, there's the bus. Okay. Phew. He's ahead of me this time. We're good. Hello, Mr. Bus. There we go. We made it without incident with the bus this time. Nice. So just, I got to hold off just a little bit longer in the mornings, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, this is my life. And it just happened to be when I last played, we ended up getting a full row. So with 22 across and only me getting 10 at a time, I am always uh, one short of a full row, and then it gets to be two short on the next row, then three short, four short, five short, all the way to, well, once we get down the 10 again, it starts all over. Yep. This door and I have issues. And I've been stuck multiple times. Just remember, though, that when you go to unstuck me, that you've dropped the item that's in your hand in a safe spot. You don't want to lose that item. So... I think I've gotten some work done on this for sure. Very happy with the work that I've done. This is probably week number eight, I'm guessing. This now should put me at like 323 pots because you get three pots um, on this shelf when you first start off. There's three here.
That would be nice. That old coal style shoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about, man. That would definitely be great. You know, just, even if it has to be over on this side, you know, just dunk. I'm with you on that one. I second that motion. I mean, at least with the, the, the big packs, not the huge packs, but the big packs, at least with those guys, you had a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you could throw them down the staircase and make it faster, but these don't fit. They just hit the step they land on and stay. It's like, oh, so there's no, uh, no making time go faster with that. Unfortunately, here, I'll show you, uh, I'm stuck. Dang it. Yeah, see? I let go. And it just sticks. Sticks where it stops. Yeah, just something. You know what I mean? Like, just something. Because this is just painful. I mean, I'd love to hire, uh, uh, what the heck's the driver's name? Martin. Hire Martin and, uh, you know, have him bring me 10 a day. That'd be great. <laughs> in, a, in the best of worlds, though, we'd be able to buy, like, order a, a, um, a pallet at a crack. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like I say, get 100 at a time. That'd be nice. They just pull up, you know, right up in front here or something right on the side of the road. This, you know, container or something that you can then just empty them out. And when you grab the last one, you know, it's like, oh, thank you for blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So here's the weird thing. You got to turn on the flashlight in order to do this well. Now you watch this. Okay, if I go like this. Oh, what the heck? It's not doing it. I was getting this thing where it would... Yeah, there we go. Now it's lifted itself up. See, it's how it's lifted higher. And then you try to set it down. And it goes all wonky. So you gotta... You gotta play around with it. Now I come back over here. Grab all these and just give them a slight little shift forward. And that's how I've been keeping everything as square as humanly possible in this game. But this is my life. <laughs> for a little while here. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to make the full full room with pots. I mean, that's 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 a hundred weeks. Or no, it's two... Hold on. If there's a thousand, we can do 50 per. I gotta bring out a calculator. Brain's not working. Should be 200, but... Yeah. Okay, so 20 trips, it says. 20 trips in order to fill it up. So that's 20 weeks in-game of not missing a day, Monday through Friday, picking these pots up. That is a grinder. <laughs> but once it's done, you'll be making good coin. You'll be making... Um, three to 6000 a week, I'm guessing. Dang, this thing's such a pain in the butt. Just, just a tappy tappy to get things in, just nice and small or smooth. His pain in the arse.
Oh, this one has a big gap in it. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can really push those ones up there. Wow. They've got a huge gap on that. Nice. Yeah, this is what I've been doing. Just grabbing these three. Just moving them forward. Dropping them down. Ah, you bastard. Picking up the wrong ones sometimes. It happens. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically it. Then just keep on going. Just keep moving the three. And eventually, you get to keep them nice and tight. Oh, would you piss off? I don't want that one. I want that one. Another maple syrup run. All right. Actually, no, we can finish these first. We got enough time. Worst case scenario, we can go to our fridge and grab one. This guy's addiction to maple syrup is, is crazy. But you know, how we do that over and come back. Matthew, how you doing, my man? Welcome back. Welcome back. You just missed the uh, the rodeo, so I sold 12 huge packs, so each huge pack is worth uh, 10000 but you can only sell a maximum of 8 huge packs per, uh, per day. So I've gone ahead and dropped the other 4 packs there, so we'll get an additional 40000 later on uh, tomorrow in-game. So that'll give us 120000 Or did it do it already? No, it already did it. Never mind. I didn't see it. Wasn't paying attention. I got 22 wide by 48 long. And I'm going to try to stick to that as best as I can. Till I get up over here, and then we'll probably remove three. Three, possibly five. Just in this little section here. Alright, so our fertilized plants are at 48%. Non-fertilized are at 39%. Our plants outdoors are at 26%. Dang it. Uh, I missed two. That's what I get for swerving and lurching all over the place, right? So as you can tell, indoors does uh, make it go faster. However, you, you, you do get a chance of infested on your plants. And when you're infested, they stop growing. Here we go. We're surfed. We've been mapleized. I'm just so sweet. Or how come you got so sweet? Because I drink maple syrup every day, three times a day. It, no, twice a day, twice a day. Twenty-seven, thirty-two. Forty, forty-nine. Okay, so as you can see, basically, I wouldn't even bother with the fertilizing either. Either way, um, this is forty percent. Where outside is like twenty-four percent. So it's almost like a 
a double the time speed, like twenty seven percent. So it's it's almost double. Uh, the cannabis ones were planted, yeah, thirty two. So yeah, I wouldn't bother with fertilizing. It doesn't make that big a deal of a difference. You're 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 still going to have to sit there and twiddle your thumbs quite often. How are we doing on the compost? Alright, so, well, I'll do one for now. Just to fill in that hole. And, yeah, I look around and go, hmm. Not much to be done here. So I come up here. I save my game. Do, 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 ba, da, 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 da. Oh, dang it, I don't have the link for it, but folks, I believe, I believe it is time for everybody to go check out A Walk With Ghosts. The full production is done. I just gotta find it. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Council room, please. What? Where was it? Bone. I know you put it up here, Bone. No, oh, I didn't want to save again. Damn it. Am I going to have to go to Bone's channel? I'm going to have to go to Bone's channel to get it. Dang it. Okay. Now, how can I choose this? Aha. Let's just go take a look at our watering situation here. Yeah, they're dry. Dang it. Hmm, made it. Didn't think it would. One extra. <laughs> Maple syrup's good, poutine's good, energy's good. Alright. Oof. I hate this damn door. There we go. Go sleep. I wanted to do the watering earlier, but oh well. I accidentally clicked on save. Two in the morning. Two in the morning. We're skipping the night. Okay, hold on here. Bone 13 channel. Bone 13. Bone 13. Bone 13. The time is 8 a.m. One second, folks. There we go. So, definitely, you'll want to check that video out for sure. Okay. Don't want to sleep again. 71%, 88%. Yeah, I'd say it's not worth it. Not worth it at all. So yeah, I would say don't worry about buying the, uh, or making too much fertilizer. And we're off to go get another 10 pots. 
But meanwhile, uh, while I've been doing this, I've been, I haven't been doing the outdoor plants. It's just with the infested uh, side of it and that, it's just so much nicer just to just grow them in the grow room, just do my work all down there. The only time I go out and run past those fields now is when I got to go get some maple syrup. Whoa, whoa, what the? This damn trailer. This trailer gets caught on that edge. And it whips you around pretty good. Didn't lose anything, I don't think. We survived. Yet another calamity. And we'll probably still make it to the store. Some time to wait. But yeah, I do my part in that uh, I walk with ghosts. I do have a part in there. Jackson has returned. Now, is that a good thing? You'll have to watch it and let me know. Down to half a tank of gas. Is that it? I guess it's been two weeks since I last fueled up. Thursdays is the cheap day, right? I think it's Thursdays. Cheap fuel day. Goes from 88.3 to like 79.3. It's like, eh, worth it. Save where you can, I guess, right? I'm going to sit down and get all that. No. Oh, man, I forgot to turn the light back on. Hold on. Uh. Okay, microphone, put the microphone back. There we go. Aha. See? Be back. And what happened? I got a blank screen going on over there. Why do I have a blank screen going on? I know blank screen's for you. All right, we're good. All right, we're good. What's up, Melanie? How are you today, huh? Okay, definitely gonna miss the bus today. Good. So they're 60 bucks each. Jeez. So we've spent 18,000 just on pots alone. I think, right? We spent a lot. But yeah, it's not so entertaining when I have to do, and this is what I got to do, but in order for me to uh, progress further in the game with filling up that room with full of pots, this is how I'm going to have to do it. There's no easier way to do it. Oh, 1999. What? I thought it said 50 bucks. I don't know. Yeah, 20 bucks. Okay. Uh, this is gonna go this way. Everything fits, everything fits. If I sits and I fits, it's mine. <sighs> the mentality of a cat. If I fits, I sits. Well, you see them inside, like, Kleenex boxes and things like that. That's so happy. Yep, we're, we're closing in on the 30%. Uh, I think this is now 30% for uh, filling up that uh, bunker. I haven't checked the cottage to see if there's a bunker going on in there, too. But if there is, jeez. That'll be after, that'll be a project after we finish the home farm. And made some good money off of it. We found 10 milk crates earlier.
Milk crates would come in handy, just saying. Especially if they would hold more pots. Just, oh, this is driving me crazy. We need to be able to order pots. Lots of pots. Good couch and chairs. <laughs> Good old milk crates, yeah. No. Oh. That and cinder blocks makes a great bookcase. Yep. Fireside benches. You got it all. All sitting in your living room. Multi-purpose uh, furniture. Reuse, reuse, recycle. We, we were taught, so we did. And then we get in trouble. You're dumpster diving. No, I'm not. I'm grabbing a brand new couch. But you have a milk crate in your hand. Exactly. What? <laughs> <laughs> People lose their ingenuity nowadays, right? And so, yeah, this is, like I said, this is my life. This is my life. Uh, don't get me stuck. Okay, I'm stuck right now. I gotta... There we go. Just remember, always, if you get stuck, always put whatever you have in your hand in a safe spot. And then you can, if you have to, you can hit the uh, unstuck button in the pause menu. Unstuck me, Seymour. Right here. But being a Unity game, it's probably going to uh, toss your... your items, um, Hell's Half Acre across the world. So that's why I do not bother with it at all myself, personally. I just drop them in a safe place, a safe place, and then uh, go from there. And stuck again. Nope. That's one place I get stuck a lot. Is getting in and out of the bunker. And it has happened when I haven't had anything in my hands. So just be warned. Be warned. It can happen. It will happen to you. Down the steps we go. Here we go. Up to the left side. Whoop. And sprinklers just went off. Okay, I was wondering what that hiss noise was. Normally I have something playing on in the background, so I don't normally hear too many sounds of the, the game. Still watching Gold Rush. Trying to get through that series. There's a lot of seasons. I didn't realize it had been going on for so many years. Uh, Tony just got himself uh, a dredging machine. Just bought one, so. Be interesting to see how and if he gets that thing up and running real the way it's supposed to be running. Yeah, it's an old-time equipment, and I don't know how many guys are going to know how to work on old-time electrical systems. I mean, if it were me, I'd be taking all that old electrical systems out and be putting in my own, but we'll see. They haven't gotten that far yet. They're just... Uh, Cutting it all down in the next episode, I think, is when they're going to move it. All old news for you who are completely caught up to date for it, but for me, it's all brand new. <laughs> you can definitely tell, though, that the, the producer's on site and uh, asking a bunch of questions and stuff like that to get half the answers that they have because, yeah... Any up north work that I've ever worked at, that's half the stuff that they're talking about and everything is like such small beans that you don't even worry about it. It's like, oh, pop the tire. Yeah, that's to be expected. Yeah, it's mining after all. <laughs> Somebody rolled the equipment. Yeah, that's to be expected. You're up here mining after all. <laughs> Uh, 
how does it make you feel to have equipment roll like that? Oh, and then you got that, that Parker kid or whatever go, oh, you know, as long as everybody's safe and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, oh my God, this is so scripted. It's not scripted as in like their responses or anything, but they, it's scripted as to like what questions they're going to ask when certain things happen and stuff like that to get that reaction from the crew. It's like, oh... That's a little bit messed up. Right there. See? One shy now. Reason be if it's 22 across and I got one row there, that's 21. So each so the next one I'll have two missing, three, four, five, six as the rows go on. And then it'll fill up again, just like we had on that last row. But yeah, that's 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 my life. 75%. Oh, so this is almost 25% faster, approximately. That's not too bad. 25% ain't nothing to, you know, shake your stick at. Well, we go back. We will see if we have found anything infested. I don't know if potatoes get infested, though. Oh, yep. I had to say it. There is one. All right, get rid of anything. There we go. No longer infested. Just a quick little spray. See, we missed five percent of growth because it was infested. That drives me crazy. But just to be safe, we'll go one more time. Because we got time before we got to go serp it up. Alright. Now I do a quick save. Then I go out there and I check for water. Then I go get some maple syrup. It's all routine. <sighs> Wonderful. Let's see who needs water. Taters need water. Now we can go get ourselves some maple syrup. And go downstairs and then that first round should be done. The fertilized round. So fertilized and downstairs is 50% faster than outdoors and fertilized if I'm guessing right. Next time I ever do this, I want to make a passageway that goes through there. <laughs> well marked. Don't care how many of the spouts we got to use. This time around, I wanted to do everything on one spout. And we did. I successfully uh, did it. So these, yeah, these ones here are fertilized 63%. And inside, downstairs, these are 100%. So yeah, I'd say they're a good 40% to 50% faster. Empty, 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 empty. Oh. Eighty-five. Eighty-six. Eighty-five. So one more computer save, and we should be ready to harvest those. I hope. 
All right, well, we'll be gluttonous. That way we got no maple syrup uh, needs or poutine needs. One moment. YouTube's got a hate on for uh, cannabis usage on screen, so I can't show my pipes. Oh, 96%. Really? Really? Oh, man. This means I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, because I really don't want to do a midnight harvest. Oh. Because it's going to be 2100 hours by the time we're done. Alright, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Gotta wait for time to go by real slow. I'll check it 2100 hours. This should be at 97. Come on, you should have ticked every 20 minutes. You should tick. All right, so basically at 2,200 hours, this should be ready. If my math is incorrect, which normally it is. Just saying. Come on, clock. You can go faster. Go faster. Much faster. Ninety-nine. Ninety-seven. What? Oh, it's taking way too long. Seven iced? I'm not a big not a big fan of that. I'm I'm more the type of guy who much prefers to just keep them separated and sex them, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, but then again, I'm I'm big on, uh, you know, being able to get seeds of only particular strands and things like that too, right? So, when I do it, I don't do I don't do crossbreeding unless I purposely want crossbred. I've had some of that uh, Pineapple Express from, uh, they call it Gramsterdam here. That was a while ago. And it was in a bottle, actually. Not a bottle, sorry. Um, vape canister. All right, these guys should be done. You should be done. Come on. Hurry up and be done. Be done. 2320. Oh, there we go. Oh, basket's full. And like that. We got ourselves a crop. So there should be over 300 here. So we should have at least three full baskets when we're done this. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. My frames... They're just dropping like crazy. Apparently that's a lot of uh, items for the computer to count.
Basket's full. All right. Now, theoretically, you only need three baskets down here for this. Because as soon as you reach 300, you can just go ahead and make a huge pack out of it quick. And then collect, you know, the 30% that's left in the one basket. Yep. Yeah, welcome to the picture show. It's getting better as the as I'm cleaning these up though. I'm starting to, like I'm now I'm averaging over 20 frames per second. But I was getting down to okay, yeah, now I'm back up to 26, 23, 26, yeah. But it's not doing bad for an old 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 PC like this though. I'm quite uh, impressed with it. All right, so yeah, you just make a huge pack, find the one that's got 30% in it, and you just keep on going. And we'll get rid of this. So that's where that pack of seeds is. Now I'll take this outside for two days from now when we get to go ahead and uh, do that one. All right. Now we need to sleep. Yeah, what, what's it going to do when you get the 1K plants down there? <coughs> well, we'll have a slideshow with a 30-second timer on each frame. <laughs> How are we doing here? All dry, all dry, all right. Dang it. Is he infested somewhere? There you go. Yeah, put the computer into the composter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, I'll need liquid cooling, so I better go grab the garden hose. <laughs> yeah. Not much you can do about it, though. Hey, I heard the bus goes going by. Boy, the bus is late. It's 9.30. You're late, pal. Oh, what the heck? I did not want to light one of those up. Okay. Don't know who, what, where, when, where, how, and why that happened, but that happened. Must have punched a key or something on the keyboard. Makes it hard to drive. I'll say that. El Eek for you, brother. Or no, Francis. Sorry, Francis. Oh, yeah. Well, well, whoops. Whoa. Here's his heading off to the bus soon. Almost time to come home. Wow, that bus like did a teleport job. in there I thought that was going to be a big crunch oh 
Ah, I know, Melanie. It's a smoking store. See, you got smoke going on there. I got mine going too. It's Canada. We're friendly like that. Or at least we used to be yeah, until the 90s before cancel culture started taking its ugly claws and digging it into people's rights. What do you mean I can't smoke in a restaurant? I mean, we even had our own smoking section. It was fantastic there for a while, but then no. Karen had to go and say something. <laughs> Comes for the guy who hasn't smoked in a house in like over 20 years prior to that. So, or no, I guess it wasn't 20 years prior to that. I quit smoking inside a house. Uh, we went and moved from the, the first place that we lived in to the second place. And when we took some of the posters off the wall, it was like, oh my God, seriously? That's what cigarette smoke's doing into the. Okay. Yeah. No, you know what? That's just way too much of a mess to clean up. I will smoke outside. Nope, not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. He's got to be minus freaking 50 degrees out Celsius without me being able to bundle up before my, my morning my morning one. My morning one is my most important one. The first one would wake up with. Like, uh. I need to speak with the manager, no doubt. Oh, Miss Hobson! How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. So is there a new castle book coming our way at any point in time? I don't know if you've uh, seen or heard, but uh, Bones' uh, audio drama is out. What the heck is wrong? Why was you? He... Hey, don't know why I wasn't firing up. Oh, wrong ass. Oh, right. Oh, jeez. Everybody changes their name too often. You're a kitty cat. You're a nana. Right? Oh man, I'm. I might be losing it. I might be losing it. I'm just tired. What can I say? <laughs> I lost track. Yeah, squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you're a Nana and all that, right? Kit Kat. Nana. Angela. I'm pretty sure. Has it been that long? See, they see what happens when people don't visit often enough. My brain loses things. I tell you. It's like a sponge. It can only hold so much before it decides to dri start dripping out. Just, no, you don't need to know this tidbit anymore. Okay. Nice. Okay, I was right. It is Kit Kat. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nana. Jeez. Trying to keep up with all them their names. Yeah, Kit Kat Nana. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I'm not going crazy. I don't have mom's Alzheimer's yet. It'll happen. Don't worry. My mom's Alzheimer's will occur at some point in my life. I'm not looking forward to it. But I won't remember, so I guess it's not all that bad. <laughs> uh, one over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it pops like that and it sticks. You got to bring it down. It's the only way you can get it to work. It drives me nuts. But how have you been? How's your garden coming? How's the bunnies? Good eatings? Everybody get some new uh, fur-lined uh, uh, slippers for Christmas? But yeah, last time I remember you were playing some eco and you're looking to uh, get a supervisory position, but I never did hear whether or not you got the supervisory position at the plastic factory. Ooh, peach jam. Yum, 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 yum. Now, here's... Oh, my camera's still off. Dang it, I forgot. Okay. One thing about 
okay my peaches only grew like to be like this big like just like tiny like you could wrap your your middle finger around to your thumb like they never grew big i could never get big peaches i'm wondering if it's because our season was so or is so short here in alberta Cherries. Oh, yeah. I got lots of cherries. Cherries were good. Cherries were fantastic. Blueberries, yeah. Took about six years before they took off. And, of course, that was the last year that we had them uh, at the acreage. We left those there. Ah, uh, blueberries. Fresh blueberries in the morning. Hmm. I'm not a big breakfast person, but, I mean... It's it's a it's a poor man smoothie, you know. It was the smoothie before the smoothies were a smoothie thing. I used to just take some heavy cream, dash of sugar, or a bit of drizzle of honey. It's just if it was summertime and the honey wasn't crystallized, you could take it and drizzle it on top of that. Oh, it was just so good for a breakfast. Just get your sugar snap, get that heavy cream in there, and you got yourself some veggies or some fruits. It's golden. Oh, they did give it to somebody else, eh? Those bastards. Well, oh well, joke's on them. Just gave you more incentive to get out of there. And look at that. You got a better job. Now, question is, better hours. That was the big thing. You were getting bounced. Like, you were really getting bounced. I would never, as a, um, as a schedule manager, ever allow anything like that to ever happen to any of my crew that I work for or work with. Because, yeah, you were just getting up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't do that. I'd rather run four on, four offs and and stuff like that instead so everybody, you know, gets a better better crack at it. Four days on, four days off. Four nights on, four days off. Four days on, four days off. Four nights on, four days off. It works so well for having to run um 40 hour weeks because here in canada you don't get paid for your hour of lunch and um hour of supper if you run a 12 hour you don't get paid for those two so technically you work a 12 hour day but get paid 10. so that way they can do that for 40 hours a week because anything over 44 hours a week is considered overtime in canada At least here in Alberta. And that way if you have two shifts, you got those covered. If you only have one shift, you got those covered too. Just four days on, four days off, four days on, four days off. Easy, easy. It works out if you work with the company long enough, you will get equal days for uh, for which shift gets Christmas off and which shift gets uh, New Year's. So one year you'll have New Year's, the next year you'll have Christmas. Next year you'll have New Year's and you'll have Christmas. Works out really well. Just got to stick around the company to get all the benefits from it. So right about here, okay. Got one that's all messed it up. It. Now, if we wanted, we could go ahead and plant, but I want to do a morning plant session. Kind of tired of doing these late night sessions. Let's see, what are these at? 63, 77, 75. I mean, come on, we didn't even fertilize the potato plants, and yet they're growing just as fast almost as the uh, fertilized cannabis. Come on. Uh, 63, empty, empty, empty. I'm thinking we're going to get 10 baskets. Or 10 baskets, 3 baskets. And purple purple, As J-Rock would say. I don't know where he gets that from, but it's maple syrup. Purple circle? I don't get it. Yeah, I've been doing all good. I've been doing all good. Oh. 
have uh, an incident with uh, my TMJ. It's pinching a trigeminal nerve in my jaw. And so it's uh, causing some weird electrical things. Nerve stuff, I guess. Not painful, just kind of annoying. Every time I chew or I yawn or if um, I clench my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you get that weird electrical feeling. The only way I can describe it is like, you know, pretend you're the music and you're being... Okay, hold on. Take an old school record phonograph player with the big wide piece right on the end of it, the big bezel thing or whatever. Just think of the music that just kind of flows through that as it comes out. Yeah, that's the nerve tingles I'm getting as it's coming out through my ear. It's like, ugh. Feels really weird. Just follows that cone. I get it. Not painful at all, though. No complaints about pain. Yeah, that, that the horn piece. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. That big brass thing that you usually show off, right? Just think of how the music vibrationally flows along that path all the way through three-dimensionally. You know, in that, that cone shape as it gets light, uh, lighter. So it does to my ear. It feels like it's coming out through my ear and then going out through the outside part of my ear. And it makes it numb. Oh yeah, didn't realize. Yeah, my temple's still a little numb. But they're looking into it. Not a big deal. I gotta get a cervical MRI and a jaw MRI. So, just gotta wait for the dates for those to come back. The biggest thing is just that, um, like she says, you know, I have uh, the La Hermet sign. Or Lehemetz, I can't pronounce it correctly, save my life. But anyway, you know how, like, if you're really disappointed in somebody and you just, you drop your, your chin to your chest, you're just like, huh. Well, when I do that, I get electrical shocks that go from my neck up over my skull and all the way down through my shoulders, through the elbow, all the way out, and then through mostly the pinky, but I get a little tiny bit on the th finger right beside it. But I've had that for ages. And she's like, have you ever been checked for a lesion on it? And I was like, no. She's like, okay. So that's why, you know, if you have a lesion that's causing this TMJ symptom and you have a lesion that's causing the um, La Hermette sign, she goes, then it could be uh, MS. On top of my fibro and the chronic. I was like, oh, okay. She goes, she's like, it's not unheard of of that happening though where, you know, it's either you've you've had it where you know type of thing for a while and it was just you know the symptoms just don't match to the criteria or you know you more to the other oh angela i hear you with new teeth that sucks oh i've done so good with mine so good but now that i got getting older the gums are receding a little bit and where there's uh no enamel um from where like the enamel's thinner from where the gums have receded from. So in there, I'm starting to get these white little lines that go across. And I can't remember what he called it. He didn't call it. Uh, it was like Bruckers, Brut, Bucktles, something like that. I don't know. Buckles, Bruckles, something weird. Anyway. So. He was like, yeah, you got some of that. And he's like, yeah, that's from the acid reflux. I'm like, All right. So they're looking at, uh, the dentist is looking at getting me a, a, a nighttime guard. And, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother planting right away. Is that, is this full? Yeah, this is full. These will be ones that I use off camera. I'll just blast through these three bags. And then we'll have an even amount set over here. And you know what we'll do? We'll even get another one going. These three I can play with. And yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Let's just go straight over to the... Uh, get more pots. It is a Thursday. It's a weekday. We need more pots. Oh my god. My body's killing me. What's going on? An hour and 46 minutes. That's what's been going on. Alright, this will be the the last last run for the day. The hour and a half has done me very, very well. 
Um, going a little bit longer the last couple times, it's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I, I feel it afterwards pretty good, but I, ha I did go for a good, you know, 10 minute stretch this time around too, so. Stood up and stretched for a while. Trying to drive while uh, standing is next to near impossible. Glad I'm not attempting that at this moment. But I am quite, uh, quite glad to stop by, Angela. I have not heard nor seen you for a very long time. It was, uh, yeah, Miss Castle, too. Angela Castle. I haven't seen her for a very long time, either. See, that's why. It's, you know, if, you know, one of y'alls would have stuck around for a lot longer. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Um, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't uh, have all these memory issues. But, hey, what can I say? Old age. I know, I know, I'm just teasing ya. Yeah. I'm just teasing. We all have lives to live. Family first. I mean, yeah. Heck, if you got yourself a new job that's, uh, you know, provides you better for the family and, uh, you know, suits you better, then hey, it's all for good. Not all for naught. I'm just happy to hear that you are healthy and doing well and I wasn't coming in going, sorry, COVID knocked me out, you know, no longer have the house, you know, you know, stuff like that. Those stories are uh, heartbreaking. So, glad to hear you're doing well. All right, this is where we get to vape. Ain't nothing wrong with having them plans. Having a goal is good. Melanie, come on, Melanie, open the door for me, please, y'all, come on, come on, ah, it is me. Come on, it is me. I would like to come buy some stuff, huh? I make you about a hundred dollars today, about that, yeah? Come on, let me in. It's eight o'clock, let me in. It won't, come on, you late again, every day you're late by one minute, huh, yeah? You like your job? I know a person named Kevin, I can come in here and complain about you. Oh, yeah. Open at 8 o'clock. Jeez, I tell you, late, 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 always so late. <laughs> I had so much fun playing that character. Speaking of which, every Friday I go to the bank and I pay my electrical bill. It's around 178 bucks, something like that was the last one. Seems to be the running consensus. For, uh, cost. Because if you miss it, and you come back another Friday, and it's there for $333, it's like, ooh, okay. I'm consistent. But we haven't been running the Sugar Shack all that much at all. Yeah, actually, I haven't been running it, period. I haven't been running it since we filled up the, the 60 barrels. Wow, can't believe it's been that long. Woo! That was a party popper. Don't want them bouncing around too much on us. Time to make our way home crash free. Can we hope for a crash free landing? <laughs> Kiddo's doing really good. Um, he's doing good in school. Uh, his reading's awesome. And what else is there? Uh, he went to a splash park, got himself some pink eye. Poor kid. Um, so he was out for like two weeks with that, but the usual kid colds, you know, stuff like that. No, he's doing good. I got to have him for two weekends in a row, uh, one before Father's Day and uh, the weekend of Father's Day as well. My birthday happens to be the day after Father's Day or the day of Father's Day, just depending on the year. So, got to hangs with little guy for all of that. He was just over the moon. We had a ton of fun. First weekend uh, was a bunch of computer games. 
and then his mom's got a Wii, and I have a Wii, so we ended up playing uh, some of the games that he's been playing at his mom's house. So, yeah, we had lots of fun. He kicked my butt at bowling and uh, archery. He has those down pat. Yeah, he's got it all figured out for muscle memory on that stuff. It's like, oh, dude. <laughs> Seven strikes in a row, huh? Yeah. I've been practicing, huh? Well, you know, I don't get much time to play. So when I play, I want to, you know, I just do one game that day. And then I just keep playing that. And then, you know, then I move on to another game the next day. I'm like, okay. So yeah, he's uh, he's having quite the fun. Still having a hard time getting him how to how to ride a bike though. He's 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 so big, and so the bike that he has, this little whatever it is, fourteen inch wheels, I think, um, BMX. I got training wheels on it, but he's because he's so big and he sits really high, so he doesn't like it. So mm, having a hard time breaking him with that one. But I'm thinking if I were to get him a bike that's more his size, so that way he's just not, you know, so top heavy on it, you know, like a, a BMX, BMX or something like that, maybe I'll be able to uh, get him learning how to ride and then maybe we can just bypass the training wheels if I go out there with him and try not to kill myself running around uh, behind him till he gets his balance caught on that, you know, hey, when you move, you, know, you have speed. When you put your foot down, when you're stopped, you have balance. But I've taken him out now down to the uh, to the riverside there where they got some nice really um, it's well treed mature tree area and everything else and there's a bunch of uh, asphalt paths that run around through it and everything so you don't have to worry about you know being on just one single path where there's tons of people or anything like that you can go off to all these different side shoots and stuff that got some flat areas and that on it so that way he could learn how to ride onto that and if uh, you know he has to fall dude there's the grass in between all these big trees. Go for it. Just don't hit the tree and you'll be fine. Because, yeah, he can even still tip over the training wheels. He's, he's just so big. It's this thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'd love to put him on to one of those, uh, what do they call those things? Those, those kick bikes. They don't have any pedals. They're just like a, just like a BMX, but the way that they're seated, you don't have to, to pedal. I like to get him onto one of those for just, you know, like a weekend, maybe two tops, and I think he would have it. Yeah, I'm not getting his uh, regular visits as I would like, but I mean, at the same time, I, you know, I want my kiddo. I want my kiddo. Yep. Drives me nuts. That is 100% correct, Matthew. Walking is 100% all about catching yourself every time you fall. It's literally how walking works. You are catching yourself from falling every time you walk. Oh, through this way down here. Thank you. You see how long this takes? So you can only guess how long it's taken me to do all those ones, so. Yeah, what I do is I play for about, uh three or four days after uh, my brother and I would play some uh, Borderlands. You know, I'd take my half hour-ish or whatever break after we're done there, and then I'd come in here and, you know, play two or three days worth. Just hanging out with the fams. It was good. It was good. Hanging out with my brother and uh, with my dad on uh, during the week. No, yeah. During the week, we had lots of work. <laughs> that was not fun. But uh, still is what it is oh yeah and uh audiologist appointment finally came in july 5th so get to go find out uh you know where my hearing's at because i hear with uh i put on headphones and i, I, I didn't realize it as much in, until like about a year ago but now it's it's kind of weird but uh, i hear more from the right side of my head than the left like my left ear hears less like it's quieter type of thing so it's like it sounds like the music plays here and i put on the headphones and it's centered 
You know, my brother's like, no, it's centered. I'm like, huh, okay, well, no, no, no. And I really wasn't paying attention to it because these headphones, I have them turned down really low. Like it's 30% on my my mixer thing here. Yeah, they, they, they turned right down low. All right, let's take a look down the line. This one, what's wrong with this one? I don't usually worry about this one row too much. It's this next next row that I worry about. Here, I'll show you why. So as you can see, as you get farther back, you get pretty well packed, right? So it's these ones and these ones I worry about when I'm putting down this row. And then when I get the next row, I just, you just keep overlapping and overlapping and it gets better and better. Right about, yeah. like the weight of the ones in front of them seem to hold the rest of them into place so they're not bouncing around so much. Okay, okay. Good enough. Let some more. Come on. Sometimes it don't like going up there. Ah. Like I said, I wish we could just hold the button down and it would do this. I'm getting a decent size going on here. That's not, not too shabby. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I don't know if I really want to uh, completely fill it up with plants, though. <laughs> Every time, if I'm going to be getting a really bad slideshow. But then again, the slideshow might only occur right now because I'm also streaming, right? So, I mean, come on. This computer is doing its best. Um... I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm almost tempted to, you know, like, take a BMX and just take the crank out for a little bit for him, maybe. Take the crank and pedals out. I just really need to take the crank out. With the, it'll take, don't need to take the pedals off the, the crank itself. Take out the shaft, the crank shaft, that'll take out the two cranks. And then just take the chain off. And all he's got to do is just, you know, push around with his feet for a little while on it type of deal. Get used to the, the handheld brakes instead of the old, you know, press backwards on the pedal brakes. Or stomp on the back tire of the scooter. this this is so much nicer so much nicer let's go over here take a look 87 100 percent okay watering can please Yeah, 
85%, not bad. Hey, whoop. I was say, I did not hear the... How'd I miss a bunch? Oh, because they're already... They're already ready, G. Alright. Alright, I'll go get some maple syrup, and then I'll get some poutine, and then we can save it. Oh, I will definitely check out the Discord. Yes. Yes. Angela? Lean? Lean? Angela? Lean comes back from my... That would be FS15 or FS17 days. Long time ago. In a land far, far, far away from this one. Well, at least a different uh, engine far, far, far away. <laughs> this is Unity. Was it 17? Yep. Because uh, Mr. P and I, we went from 15 to 17 with uh, Blah and uh, Snipe. And then what else was there? There was, uh, yeah. They tried getting me into that, uh, that... Oh, what's that ball game Rocket League thing that I think it was called? Wasn't my cup of tea. Ouch. You're on 22 now? Nice. I'm just, I burnt myself out. Played 15, 17, and then 19, and nothing really big was big changed. You know, small tweaks here and there, but it just didn't do it for me. But since that is where my save game is at, ladies and gentlemen, we might as well end things off here today. You've all been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you have yourself a wonderful moon, wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, good night. Um, yeah, thank you for taking the time to kick back, relax, and wine with me. It's been a lot of fun. Haven't seen a lot of you folks in a while, so good to see you. Thank you once again for hitting that like button. It does help out the channel. Also, doing the comments, watching the videos in your off time. You're all are awesome and amazing. Oh, Ark, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, I was the only one that was able to play it out of our group there for a while. That was funny. That was hilarious. But that's a long story. Anyway. Uh, oh, as always, big special shout out and awesome to these fantastic folks here. The channel members, Barb, Shane, Indigo, William, Karsten, Spider, at Little Mac, Devin, NE64, Sam, Matthew, and Bob. Thank you so very much. One and all, I've had myself a fantastic stream today, and I'll see you in the next one.